Ladies and gentlemen, from Cedar Fest Studios, please welcome your host, Julian Schweiding. Welcome to Family View and everybody, I'm your host Julian Schwade and we have a great show for you today. Give it up for the cool lady! And give it up for the Lava family! Let's get right into it. Give me Claudette, give me Patrick. Shake hands please, that's enough Claudette, that's enough. Okay guys, here we go. Top five answers on the board. Name a fruit with seeds. Grapes. Show me grapes. <laughs> Four B to Patrick. Name a fruit with seeds. I'm gonna have to say watermelon. Show me watermelon. I'm the right answer. We're gonna pass or play a We're gonna play, guys. Mary Ann, how you doing? No, I'm fine, thank you. Name a fruit with seeds. How about cherries? Yeah. Show me cherries. <laughs> That's alright, we got two more strikes. Please no help from the audience. No cheating, please. Zaina, name a fruit with seeds. What about apples? Show me apples. Your peers were the ones that answered these. Don't blame me, I'm just the host. Priscilla, name a fruit that has seeds. Strawberries. Show me strawberries. We're on to Halim. We got two strikes. You guys get together, if they don't get it, you get a chance to steal. Halim, name a fruit with seeds. Oranges. Show me oranges. Going over here to the cool ladies. You got a chance to steal all the points. Give me a fruit that has seeds in it. Pomegranate? Show me pomegranate. What the hell? Give it up for the cool ladies, everybody. They take round one. That's all right, we got two more rounds. The points are doubled in the second round. Give me Sonia, give me Marianne. Oh, 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 my mistake. Show us number three, please. Kiwi. That gets it every time. We're gonna reset it. We don't have a picture on that. Game buzzer. Next. All right, backstage, well done. Here we go. Question number two. Did you guys shake hands, by the way? Oh, I missed that one. No problem. Name the loudest animal you hear at the zoo. Lion. Show me lion. Woo! Yeah. Two more beating, so I if you can beat it, you guys get a chance to play. Name the loudest animal you hear at the zoo. Elephant. Show me elephant. No. Oh. Right, so pass or play, cool ladies. We're gonna pass or play. They're gonna play. Can you guys switch back, please? Yes. No cheating. Mary, it's okay. I'm just gonna ask you a simple question. No pressure. Don't need to stress. I just need an animal that makes a loud noise at the zoo. No help from the rest of your team, please. Three seconds. Show me a wolf. That's okay. It's only one strike. Why? I gotta give you an automatic strike. Come on now. Name the loudest animal you hear at the zoo. Monkey. Show me monkey. monkey. Okay, still got one strike, only one strike, two more answers. Name the loudest animal you hear at the zoo. A dog. Show me a dog. That's strike number two. A dog. Interesting. But I no help from your... Look at me, please. All right, two strikes. If no one get this one, the Lava family gets a chance to steal. A bear? Show me a bear. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, strike three. All right, Lava family, you guys get a chance to steal it. 
Uh, name the loudest animal you would hear at the zoo. Uh, they're everywhere, you know, in the sky. They sometimes perch. I'm going to have to say birds in general. Show me birds in general. But that's okay, we're going on to round three. Points are triple, so you get a chance to win the game. We're all set backstage? All right, here we go. Question number three, points are triple, top five answers on the board. Name something people may think is a man's chore. Gardening. Show me gardening. Roll along. That works. We got one more answer on top of that. Zayma seems to have it. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. Yeah. Number one answer. We're gonna pass your plate, Lavas. They're gonna play, guys. All right. Lavas are well in the lead. If you guys sweep, you win the game. All right. Here we go, Marianne. Oh no, 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 Priscilla. Name something people may think is a man's chore. Show me fixing things. Well done. Two more answers on the board. Aline, name something people may think is a man's chore. Dishes? Clearly, Aline's not married. Show me dishes. That's all right. We got two more strikes to go. To go. We got two answers on the board. Patrick, name something people may think is a man's chore. Go into the Bottle Depot to get rid of the bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna say recyclables. Oh! Right to one more, and the cool ladies get a chance to steal, and I believe win the game. So we need this one, Marianne. Here we go. Name something people may think is a man's chore. Um, how about um, three seconds? Oh, really? Okay, how about um, cleaning the outside of the house? We're going to go with cleaning the outside of the house. Why your father oh. Wow, this is it. This is it. Cool. Ladies, you get a chance to steal and win the game. You have three seconds. I'm going to repeat the question. One second. Name something. I'll read it very slowly. Name something people may think is a man's chore. You can say whatever you want. It's a family game, keep in mind. Barbecue. Show me barbecue. No! You don't even want to hear us. Give it up for the cool ladies. They take the game. I need two that are going to play fast money. Oh, that. You're right. Thank you. Show me number five. Doubling. Zach had that one in the audience. Who's gonna play Fast Money, ladies? Fast Money, I need two ladies. Fast Money. Fast Money. Fast Money. Not Mary. Mary doesn't know what she's doing. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Who's gonna go first? You. Okay. Okay, Marie. Here we go. Let me get my pass. Okay, Marie, I'm going to ask you five questions. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll try to get back to it. They need another minute backstage. Claudette's backstage, by the way. She cannot hear or see your answers. Um, and we're going to give you 20 seconds on the clock. Lots of time. Good to go backstage. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, here we go. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name a reason a baby might be cranky. Hungry. A married couple may be deeply in what? A married couple may be deeply in what? Love. Name something you eat in a bun. Name a common place where people keep checking their watch. Uh... Church. 
Name something a plant needs to grow. Sorry, can you? Name something a plant needs to grow. Um, uh, water. Water. Did we get that backstage? We got all five answers? We got all five answers. We're gonna take a quick minute for them to tally up. Don't go anywhere. Who from the audience wants to answer a fast money question? Preferably a child. Oh, we got one over here. Okay, I'm coming. Come on over. This is for an ice cream, by the way, so pressure's on. Okay, come up. Oh, oh, oh. She wants to go to this. Come on up. No, no. You want the spotlight too, I agree. What's your name? Zoya. Zoya. How you doing, Zoya? You having fun? Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is your fast money question. You ready? Name a popular cartoon television show. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. She had to take a while to answer that. Do your parents not let you watch cartoons? I'm just kidding. Unbelievable. Tom and Jerry is the number one question answer. Give it up for Zoya, everybody. Here is your ice cream. Enjoy. Thank you for playing. We got time for one more. One more from the audience, preferably an adult. An adult. Okay, come on up. No, your mom raised your hand. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, you want to go to the All right, let's go to the top two. Come on up. All right, here's your question. Name something romantic a guy might do on a first date. Make a love song. Hold on, I gotta write that up. The answer was make a love song. That is not the correct answer. Flowers would have been the number one answer. But you know what? For a good sport, I'm gonna give you an ice cream anyways. Give it up for everybody. We're almost ready to go. We're ready to go. All right, Mary. We're gonna face the side over here. I asked you, name a, a reason a baby might be cranky. You said? You said? Hungry survey said? Woo! Very well done. Well well a married couple may be deeply in what? You said? Woo! Love survey said? Woo! 20. Woo! There's a few other ones, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Name something you eat in a bun, you said? Yes. And the survey said? Oh. Alright, we're getting up there. Name a common place where people keep checking their watch. You said. Sure. Is that going to appear here? Thank God. Thank you, God. Survey said. 26. 26. Then I asked you, name a plant that. Sorry, name something a plant needs to grow. You said. Might show me what the survey said. 22, well done, Murray. Well done, take our spot. We're gonna applaud it, everybody. Feel the board. Are we ready to go right into this backstage? Alright, Claudette's coming out on your iTunes pumped. You know we are Claudette. Simple. No, there's nothing up there to look at. Okay, I'm going to ask you the same five questions, okay? You're going to try to give me the best answers. If you can't think of something, say pass. If you duplicate an answer, you're going to hear this sound. Crickets. You can't ask the crowd. No, you can just look at me. Alright? Um, we're going to give you 25 seconds because it's going to be a little bit tougher. You ready? Alright, here we go. Let's remind everybody of Marie's answers, not you, Claudette. You look at everybody in the audience. Okay. Thanks. I, I, I gotta concentrate. Thank you. Okay, here's the audience. Here we go. Name a reason a baby might be cranky. Name a reason a baby might be cranky. Cramps. Cramps. A married couple may be deeply in what? A married couple may be deeply in what? A married couple may de be deeply in what? In what? Pass. Pass. Name something you eat in a bun. 
Hot dog. Name something. Name a common place where people keep checking their watch. For dates. Time. Name something a plant needs to grow. Special. Name something a plant needs to grow. Son, I'm gonna ask you the second question again. A married couple may be deeply in what? I can understand that. Okay. What you and you and Eli, what are you? What are you? Yeah. In in a house. Alright, we got that, we got in the house. I like that second answer. So what she said was in debt. I said in bed. Oh, in bed, even better. Claudette and Ellie in a house in bed. That was number two, folks. Claudette, you're something else. I don't think we're gonna be allowed to have you back on the show after this one. I don't know. All right, you just take a minute to breathe, catch your breath. We're gonna need a few minutes backstage. I'll take it for that one. Um, so while we're at it, let's ask a fast money question in the audience. Come on up. What's your name? Jaden. Jaden, give it up for Jaden, everybody. All right, I gotta think of a fast money question. I'm doing this on the top of my head. Um, all right. Name a popular food item on the Cedar Fest menu. Oh, help from the audience. No help from the audience, but that's okay, it's just for fun. Manush is the number one answer, everybody. Give it up for Jaden. Let me give you an ice cream to take. There you go. Enjoy it on me. That was three dollars a ticket, by the way. No big deal. Uh, we need uh, a few more, uh, few more questions. All right. Let's introduce the families. First of all, let's start with the losing family. Um, hey everybody, I'm Patrick Lavo, I'm 21 years old, I'm <laughs> and single, single? I'm single. And who'd you bring with you today? I brought my mother, Marianne Lava, she was born in 1902. <laughs> <laughs> this is my aunt, her younger sister, she was born in 1896. Uh, she's not a part of my family. Not yet. <laughs> she, she could be soon though. <laughs> Who's that you got with you? Do you know her name? Oh, so, love her. Love her. Love her. Thank you. Who's the good looking guy today? That's my younger brother, Halim. He's 19 and uh, he's. And single. <laughs> Alright, give it up for the Lava family, everybody. Claudette, well, since we got another minute, <laughs> tell me who you brought with you today. She always wants to whisper in my ear. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Please tell me who you brought with you today. Sonia Chater. Sonia Chater. My blonde uh, friend and Mary Chater. My second friend and uh, Rose Mary. Uh, she's Chater too. Like <laughs> and Miss Jamie and Jubaydi. That's what the lady in town, folks. Give it up for the cool ladies. All right, Claudia, come up here with me. Let's go through these, this painful round. Let's get this over with. All right, here we go. Claudia, I asked you, name a reason a baby might be cranky. You said? I think that's more than mom when she's pregnant, but show me what the survey said. Zero. Number one answer was hungry. A married couple may be deeply in what? You said. In bed. Survey said. The number one answer was love, but the second would have been in debt, which I tried to give you, but you wanted to change your answer to bed. It's all good, here we go. Name something you eat in a bun. Hot dog, survey said. Hot dog is the number one answer. 48 points to go. Name a common place where people keep checking their watch. You said? On a date. No, I thought 
check. Where, is your husband here tonight? No. Did, were you checking your watch when you were on the date with Eddie? <laughs> okay, here we go. What did the survey say? Ooh. Number one answer was in a meeting slash work. Well, you don't work, Claudette. We talked to you. Didn't work. All right, name something a plant needs to grow. You said you need 43 to win. Sun is the number one answer. What did we get? Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed game one. It was surely entertaining on, for me, that's for sure. Thanks for Claudette. Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your host, Julian Schweine, and this is game two. Give it up for the 
Chayda family, sorry about that. And give it up for the Abu Khalil family. Let's get right into it. Give me Tammy, give me George. George, sorry about that, guys. All right, here we go. Question number one. Where's if you want to buzz now, the <laughs> name a specific fear many people have. Heights. Show me heights. <laughs> Two answers beat it. Name a specific fear many people have. The dark. Show me the dark. Oh, pass or play? They're going to play it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna ask you the same question. Name a specific fear many people have. Bugs. Show me bugs. <laughs> Number one answer. No help from the team, please. Name a specific fear many people have. Clown. Show me a clown. No talking, please. No talking. I think that's Kramer that's afraid of clowns in Seinfeld. Okay, same question. Name a specific fear many people have. Water. Show me water. Ah, uh, two strikes comes down to one more. If you don't get it, the Trader family gets a chance to steal. Name a specific fear many people have. Mice. Show me mice. Rodents. All right, Trader family, you get a chance to steal it. Two answers remain. Name a specific fear many people have. Dog. I was a paper boy, so I can relate. Show me dogs. Uh, the Abu Khalil family takes round number one. Show me what number four was, please. Snakes. Yeah, the audience knew it. Show me number five. Ghosts and monsters. That's okay, we're gonna go on to number two. Give me Jazzy, give me free time. Come on up. It's Nicole. It's not Jazzy. Oh my god. Sorry everybody. Give it up for Nicole. That's my fault. I apologize. Here we go. Question number two, top five answers are on the board. Name a place where you might find lint. Show me attic. It's all right. It's all right. Name a place where you might find lint. Show me clothes. What? Pass or play, Abu Khalil. Pass or play. Play. They're gonna play, guys. Second round. We're going on here. Name a place where you might find lint. Show me the couch. Oh, that's okay, but it's only one strike. No help from the team. We still got two more strikes, guys. The name of place where you might find lint. In the closet? Show me the closet. Strike number two. I can see the audience getting restless. You guys don't know the answers either, do you? Ah, I don't want to hear it. Name a place where you might find lint. Belly button. Wow, show me belly button. Absolutely, well done, well done. That is an amazing answer. Back to the start. Name a place where you might find lint. Socks. Show me your socks. Ah, uh, that's okay. Trader family, you get a chance to steal the points. A much needed steal here, guys. Three answers are on the board. I'm gonna ask you the same question. Name a place where you might find lint. Pocket. Show me your pocket. Ah. Ah. Give it up for the Abu Khalil family. They take round number two. Show me what number one was. Number one is dryer. Number four. Between the toes. You know, you know when you're sitting. You take it. Show me number five. In the drawer. All right, guys. I don't, I'm not the judge, sorry. We're, that's okay, you guys got a huge lead, 168. The Chainer family still gets a chance to win it as the points are now tripled. Let's go on to the third round, folks. Come on up, third round. Lisa Chainer. And? Sorry. Here we go, guys. 
Points are triple, top five answers are on the board. Yeah, Lisa. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Dora the Explorer. Show me Dora the Explorer. Yes! yes. Number two, one steals it. The Wiggles? Show me the Wiggles. They're gonna play it over here. Do the Wiggles even talk in their cartoons? I don't know. I thought they'd just do that annoying noise, you know, longer. Alright, here we go. I'm going to ask you the same question. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Well, growing up, he was just such a big role model and a big part of my life, so... I just need to an answer. One answer. Sesame Street. Show me Sesame Street. Big Bird. Alright, same question. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Barney. Barney. Show me Barney. Yeah, number three. We're rolling, traders. We're all rolling. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. The Magic School Bus. The Magic School Bus. Wow, they are rolling. Three strikes left, one answer on the board. No help from your team, please. This is for the match. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Blue's Clues. Show me Blue's Clues. Ah, uh, that's okay, only one strike. We got two left, Lisa. No pressure. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Uh, Arthur? Yeah! Show me Arthur. Wow, the pressure is coming down. Huddle up, guys. You get a chance to steal if they don't get it on this last one, and we need this badly, Chaters. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Shout out to my boy Franklin. Franklin? Show me Franklin. Pressure packed moment, folks. Abu Khalil, you guys need this to win the match, or the Chater family will go on to the fast money round. I'm gonna ask you the same question. Name a kid's TV show that teaches you something. Caillou. Uh, audience is like, uh, show me Caillou. Give it up for the Chater family, everybody. what number five was. Ah, uh, Mr. Rogers. Hey, you guys dance with them, not me. Give it up for the Abu Khalid family, guys. Big round of applause. And give it up for the trainers, the winners. I need two for fast money. Two for fast money. Come on up. Come on up. Who's going to go first, folks? All right, Tammy's going to go first. You're gonna go backstage, put some headphones on, and you're ready to roll with the, with the fast money. Come on up here, Tammy. All right, I'm gonna ask you five questions. Try to give me your most popular answer. If you can't think of something, say pass. The body's backstage, he cannot see or hear your answers. You ready to go? All right, Tammy says she's ready to go. Can we quiet down for the audience just so she can hear? Thank you very much. Here we go. Name something in your body that you would donate. Um, your... Heart. Name a type of cheese. Cheddar. Name something you might buy that, that fit, that's one size fits all. Um, tank top. Name something people do in a hurry, then later regret. Um, that's okay. Name a crisp vegetable. I'm sorry? A crisp vegetable. Kale. Kale. We get that backstage? pretty tough on the spot, hey Tammy? It is, I bet you if I asked you these before, you have no problem. Uh, Tammy, why don't you tell me who you brought with you today? I know if Audie's backstage, you can't hear or see you, so who else? I can answer that. This is Nicole, Lisa, and Stephanie. Give it up for the Chater family, everybody. Big round of applause. And for our losing team, unfortunately I gotta do it. Who did you bring with you today? Uh, Rita, my cousin, my my mom, Diala, and we have Excellent. Give it up for the folks. Great sport. Come on up, Tammy. Let's go through your answers. I apologize. I'm, I'm banting too much. All right, here we go. Tammy, I asked you name something in your body that you would donate. You said. Such a sweet person. Survey said. Then I asked you name a type of cheese. You said 
Shut up. Survey said. Well done. That's a good one. Name something you might buy for one. For that, that's one size fits all. You said. Tank top. I don't know what tank top fits all, but I'd like to type to know. Survey said. That's all right. That's all right. We're, we're getting up there. Yeah, twelve people. Twelve. Said it. Twelve crazy people. All right. Uh, she named something people do in a hurry, then later regret it. You said. Not purchase. I said purchase. She said purchase, but that's okay because I think they're both in the same bracket. <laughs> Let's see what, she, what what we gave her. Well done. That's good. I asked you to name a crisp vegetable. You said kale. kale. Survey said. Uh, oh, Tammy needs to explain her answer. That shows how often she eats kale. She said, just in case anybody was taking notes. Thank you, Tammy. That's great. Bring Fadi backstage. On here he comes. Let's give it up for him. All right, big man. I know you like to talk, but unfortunately, we're only got 25 seconds. So I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. If you uh, repeat an answer, you're gonna hear this sound. Perfect. On on cue. I'll say try again. You try to give me another answer. If you don't, if we have enough time at the end, we'll give it to you. Okay. Um, same five questions. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we're gonna give you a little extra time. Are you ready to go? All right, make sure you stay face in the audience. We're gonna show everybody what Tammy said. Here we go. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name something in your body that you would donate. Kidney. Name a type of cheese. Avarte. Name something you might buy for one size fits all. Sweatpants. Name something people do in a hurry, then later regret. I can't, I can't. No swearing, please. Please, no swearing. What was the question? Let's pass that. Name a crisp vegetable. Broccoli. Name something people do in a hurry, then later regret it. Uh, smoke. Oh, that's a good one. Smoke. Yes. Give it up for body, everybody. <laughs> Remind everybody those, those beautiful answers from Tammy. All right, here we go. Oh, I need my cue card. It's not that good. I know you lost, but come on. Do we have paramedics on, on, on point? She's alright. She's alright. She's a trooper. Alright, here we go, folks. Name something in your body that you would donate. You said? Your kidney. Good answer. Survey said? Well done. Number one answer was? Blood. Then I asked you, name a type of cheese. You said, Avardi, fancy. Survey said, number one answer was cheddar. Then I asked you, name something you might buy for one size fits all. You said, sweatpants, that's a good one. Survey said, number one answer, Po, hat. Number one answer. Here we go. Name something people do in a hurry, then later regret it. You said? Smoke. Survey said? Drink alcohol. Number one answer was impulse buy. The number two answer was, of course, Mary. Name a crisp vegetable. You said? Broccoli. Yeah, you need uh, 73 points. You know, 73 people said it, you win. Show me broccoli. Not quite, but give it up for the Chana family, everybody. They will be playing in tomorrow's final round at 3.30, and they're going up against the cool ladies. Give another round of applause for the Kadir family. Let's shake them up, everybody. I am your host, Julius Schroeder. I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you tomorrow for 3.30. And the number one answer from the audience was Karen. Karen.
I'll see you next time, folks. Thanks a lot.